the technology strategy card. The simplest strategy card of them all to understand, but there are so many different technologies to choose from. We got four different colors, we got all the unit upgrades, and of course we have all the faction specific technologies as well. But we can boil this down into three overall categories. And in the first category, we got all the technologies that can improve our units and make them a little bit stronger. For instance, plasma scoring, so we get to roll one additional die whenever we use bombardment or space cannon. Or gravity drive, so we can apply plus one to the move value of one of our ships. And then of course we got all the literal unit upgrades as well. And in the second category, we got all the technologies that can either improve or give us new capabilities as a faction, like Neural Motivator, so we get to draw two action cards instead of one in every status phase, or Sling Relay, so that we get to produce a ship in any system that contains one of our space stocks. And lastly, we got the category with all the faction-specific technologies, and most of the factions got two of these, and they also fall into the same two categories as mentioned before, with either improving our units or improving whatever our faction can do. The primary ability of this card is that we can research a technology for free, but we can also choose to spend six resources to research one additional technology. And it is, of course, completely okay to first research one technology and then research a second one using the first one as a prerequisite for that second one. So which technology is to choose? Well, firstly, we must have our short-term goal for a technology game in mind, what technology will help us right here and right now, but we should also have our long-term goal in mind so that we can work towards that as well. A short-term goal could be to research gravity drive so that our carrier here can catch up with our cruisers when we, for instance, want to fly all the way to Megatol Rex, because our carrier can only fly one system, whereas our cruisers can fly two. So in this example, Gravity Drive held us in the short run, but it can also be a brick in our long-term technology plan. And if we have a long-term plan for what technologies we want in the mid or late game, then we can consider whether this technology will bring us closer to those top-tier technologies further into the game. In a typical game, I will research about five technologies in total, maybe a few more in some games, but we shouldn't become overambitious with how many technologies we hope we can get. And the secondary ability allows other players to research technology. They just have to spend one command token from their strategy pool and pay for resources, and they can do so by exhausting planets and or using trade goods. Technology is of course always nice to have, but if we are in a situation where we have to choose between producing more units or researching technology, then I would always go for producing more units. As a rule of thumb, having a lot of technology won't help us win the game unless we also got all the units to back them up. Of course, unless we just need that single one technology to score that final public or secret objective. There are a few timing windows we can consider before playing the technology card. So let's say we only took this card so we can research technology that will bring us closer to the technology that we actually want. So in this example, we should try and play the strategy card as late as possible in the game round. Because if any other player also wants to research technology that can help them in this very same round, then we may be able to prevent them from achieving whatever they want to achieve by playing the technology card as late as possible. And another timing window strategy with the technology card is if we really need to build units on the secondary of warfare, then by picking the technology or the imperial card for that matter, we'll make sure that the warfare player is always one turn ahead of us in the current game round. And that means that our chances of being able to use the secondary ability is higher before we have to pass for the round. But of course, this is only possible if we have an almost equal number of actions. In some situations, the Warfare player wants to delay playing his strategy card until as late as possible, so that most of the other players have passed for the game round. We can still use the secondary ability, which is to produce units in our home system, but since we have passed, we cannot move out. And that will make all of our newly produced units lose momentum. Researching technology can help us score victory points, because there are both public and secret objectives that require us to do so. But with the Prophecy of Kings expansion, there are many more objectives in the decks. So the chances for a technology objective to come out is much smaller now. So I wouldn't research technology for that reason alone. But do keep these objectives in mind, 
so that you may be able to catch up in case they come out, but otherwise only research technology that will help you out on the game board so your units can help you score many of the other objectives that are in the game. And some of the good ones are found in the blue tech tree. We have for instance fleet logistics and light wave deflectors. And if you want to see how these two technologies work, you can click the cards here. And thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.